Hi everyone. We're decorating pine cones. I cut down a pine tree yesterday. It was dead. And uh, so we'll get lots of kindling wood from it. I'll get a few logs from it. But there were lots of pine cones. So now I'm here pretending I'm a Chinese child in a slave labor sweatshop in China making Christmas decorations for the barbaric West. <laughs> yeah. Now the thing is, is that I used to do this with my mom when I was a kid. What happened was, all the Christmas decorations got thrown out one year. And, uh, and your father claims it was an accident. Yeah, Dad claimed it was an accident. Of course, nobody believed him. It probably was. I mean, he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. I like the old man, but sometimes he could screw up. Anyway, we went and we got to, it was Wolko in those days. We went to Wolco, bought a bunch of cheap ornaments, decorated them. We still have some, too. And my mom sent me up, uh, there was a park in the north end of Halifax. It's called Fort Needham. It's just above where the Halifax explosion happened. You probably heard about that, the 100th anniversary. If not, it was the 100th anniversary this year, the Halifax explosion. Anyway, um... Fort Needham has a whole bunch of, uh, uh, of fir and spruce trees. And, and she pines, sent, too. And pines. And she sent me up to get cones. And I went up and I brought home a bunch of cones and we sat there and decorated them. And uh, it was a great thing. And years later, when uh, a certain pain in the arse moved in with me, we shall be. Name, unnamed. Unnamed at this point. <laughs> uh, we carry on the tradition. Right? We don't do it every year because... We have a lot of cones. We kind of have a lot of cones. Right? And, uh... But, this year, we're decorating some, so... Because it's a memory of our beautiful tree. Yeah, it was a nice tree. See the little cone? Well, you have to hold it up to the actual camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For nineteen ninety-five and seventy-five dollars shipping and handling, you can have one of our. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. But uh, yeah, I didn't want to cut the pine tree down, but it was totally dead. It was close to the power line. And it was close to the power line. And you know what I was... had to come down. When I was cutting it, I cut it, and I cut the notch, and I was cutting it, and the wind took it and started moving it back towards the power line, and I got there and I pushed it. And if it, had a, if it hadn't a, gone forward the way I wanted it to go, I would have just jumped on the way, and we would have seared the power line. That was pretty funny. That would have cost me a thousand bucks. Get rehooked up. Yep, you'd be in big trouble with the power corporation. Yeah, that's they, for they, sure. They, they don't like that. Do you, you notice they don't like that? What people cutting trees on their lines? Well, it wasn't on their line. It was just the way it was coming into the property, right? Not my fault. I didn't put it there. Yeah, it is in a weird spot. Yeah. But anyway, they don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry about that anymore. But I am going to have to clear out that line going over to the other lot, so. Even though there's no, nothing hooked into it? No, it's not hooked in. Another classic. Yeah, but they're all the same. What? What are all the same? Pine cones. No, this one's a classic. <laughs> that one's a classic, you say. I'll have a slurp of the old cafe. Yes, because you're not crazy I hope everybody's, as it is. I hope everybody's all geared up for Christmas. We're going to have a good Christmas. All right, it's been a strange year. Pretty funny, actually. How so? 
Oh, all the things going on in the world. Right. I really don't want to get into politics. It's Christmas after all, and those guys don't deserve our aggravation. Many people got enough to worry about at Christmas. Yeah. They're shopping. Oh, they're shopping? Yes. We will go shopping. <laughs> yep. People have been whinging to me for the last couple of weeks about not having their Christmas shopping done at work. Well, I got mine done. Well, yeah, so have I. The only thing we have to get is cheese, isn't it? A good cheese? Yeah, we have to Some get a good cheese. Blue cheese or something. Yeah, I'll pick that up Thursday. And we got crackers. Oh yeah, which we bought long in advance. Yeah, on sale. Yep. Planning. Do you want some snow glitter? Yeah, it should have some snow glitter. I mean, these are white. You can see the snow. No, look. Oh, look. Uh. Yeah, okay. Just mix it in with that glitter. Yeah. That'll look good. <laughs> See, he's an artist and he didn't know it. Yep. I, I am, I've always been a furnace. Here, I'll put more paint in. Yeah, there's no paint in there. I've always been a furnace. And he stole my paintbrush. Oh, here, take it. Here, glitter finger. Yeah, wait till the boys at the coffee club bring See Yes this one. Yeah, yesterday we made fruit cake. Did a pretty good job too. It's a little hard, but that's because somebody inserted the toothpick into the cake and said, Well, it's coming out clean, but I think that I will just leave that in the oven for another fifteen minutes. Who just did? to make sure. Who did that? You. What? Yeah. Well you're insane. There is a witness, Mark heard you say it. You're insane. You're absolutely insane. I said, let's get this out now. And you said, no, leave it in for a little bit longer. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Because I wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, says the man who has burnt more cakes and cookies than he can shake his stick at. And you can't I, say they were all deliberately done. I do really good bread, but man, the other stuff? Holy crap. Horrible. I mean, it's not horrible. Look, you're sloshing glitter all over the place. This is why I have newspapers up everywhere. Because he's just, you know, flinging it all over the you, place. You see the abuse I have to take, guys? You see the abuse? It's terrible. Here I am, a wonderful, marvelous human being, taking abuse like this. <laughs> You ever know women, you ever notice that women speak in code? <laughs> Not this again. Right? Buddy was telling me today, his ex-wife, she says to him one day, she goes, I'm really, really cold. So he gets up, crosses the room, and closes the window she was sitting next to. <laughs> I mean, you know. Ah. It's like, if she was sitting beside the window, she should have closed it herself. Yeah. Might have broken nail. Oh God! I, the well, I could see if she maybe she was painting her nails at the time. She'd say, "Well, I my nails are wet. Could you close this for me?" But to just sit there and say, "Oh, I'm cold." Yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous. That was funny though. We did have Christmas music playing, but we don't want to be in uh, copyright dispute. Yeah, with YouTube. We know what they're like these days. Oh, I didn't say that. No, I, was, was I saying that out loud? No, that can't be. No, not you. No. You'd never say anything controversial out loud. No. Nope. Never. Right. Never would I say that. 
I'd never call them social justice wankers. <laughs> uh oh. There I lost a third of my friggin' subscribers. Right. But it's been a good year, you know. It's, a, you know. it's been an entertaining year. Entertaining year, you know. Lots of things happening. Should be putting more stuff up on YouTube, but. Uh, Laziness is a hell of a mental condition. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's a matter of. Ever since I got that new computer, I, I, I have real problems operating it. I've got to get you to do everything. I used to be able to do the videos myself. When did you do them yourself? I did them a long time ago. There's a lot of videos up there. Those ones of me just talking? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have showed you multiple times how to use that system. No. I did. I don't remember. I don't remember at all you showing me anything. It's called selective memory. Nope. I have no concept of what you're talking about. I find it, uh, 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 I find you offend me. <laughs> yeah. I feel it. offended. Yeah, you feel offended. By this tone you're you're taking. Right? Yep. It's horrible. That's, that's absolutely terrible. I treat you horribly. That's what the, yeah, yeah. She let me out of the cage for this. <laughs> Remember you had some subscribers that were absolutely crazy with all the hate mail towards me? Yeah, well, well, they should. Me being such a wonderful human being and all. Not a narcissist. Oh no, you're not a narcissist at all. No. Just ask anybody who actually knows you in real life. Right. They'll set the record straight. Yeah. World's greatest human being. If you don't believe me, just ask me. And he'll tell you ten times over. Man, I, I, I really like those. It looks nice with the snow glitter, doesn't it? Yep. I just dug this glitter right the other day. Because you knew this was going to happen. You knew I was cutting that tree down there'd be all kinds of cones. Well, not intentionally knew it, but must have known it subconsciously. I wonder if any of those seeds will be any good. Well, we'll just have to plant them and find yeah. out. Got a bunch of seed from it. We still got seeds from the ones in town. Yes. Remember we went collect with them? Yeah. Over Fort Nita. Yeah. If you guys ever get to Halifax, go to Fort Needham. It's the best kept secret in Halifax. Yep. Right? It's quiet. There's no people around. Well, if you go the wrong time of day, there's going to yeah. be a bunch of riff-raff kids running around. Yeah, but that's... But if you go in the daytime when the kids are in school... Right? Fort Needham is great. The old North End Halifax. Where I used to live. It's where we used to live. I don't miss it anymore. No? Yeah. I dream of the house sometimes. We always end up getting kicked out. We'll be in the house and then people say, well, we don't live here. Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't. Yeah, that's how the brain works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Because your brain realizes, hey, this isn't where I live now. You know what you can do with glitter? Keep a little bag, give it in your pocket. And whenever you run into somebody, who says something absolutely ridiculous, reach in your pocket, grab Whoa. a handful of glitter, and just go, here. Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd yeah. love to have that at Coffee Club. Uh, but, um, Debbie, kill me. I was just going to say, the wife of the fella who 
runs it, she will kill you. Uh, she kill me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so leftover glitter, yeah. I will save in a bag. That's the last time we ever see it. No, it won't. I'll put it with the rest of the glitter. All the little girls want to be oh the fairy on the Christmas tree. You've been singing that all day. That's in my head. I heard that. That's a, a pre-1912 Christmas carol. Look, I got glitter on me. Hmm. Yep. Joy to the world. There's a bunch of glitter here too. Somebody spilled something. Yep. I bet you I know his name. He's not the greatest thing since sliced bread. The greatest thing since sliced bread? World's greatest human being? Is that who spilt it? I guess so. Do you have anything else you want to say to your viewers? No. Turn it up? No, not yet. Well, hopefully this will be up before Christmas. We hope to have a, a couple of Christmas videos up. Anyway, Merry Christmas! <laughs>